Today we're going to travel back to the 80s with this one. It is the BMW Hartridge H6S kit from Fujimi. This is a part of their enthusiastic series of kits, their overly fully detailed series of kits. It's going to be a full detail kit, 124 scale, does have full engine, engine detail, even has an opening trunk too. It's today's What's in the Box. Hey everyone, and welcome to today's What's in the Box. So this kit was initially released in 1987, but the two-lane goes back a year before 86 when it was initially released as the BMW M635 CSI kit. And then between and then shortly after that, the Alpine B7 Turbo kit variation was done. And then in 90, 1987, Revell did a rebox of the Alpine Turbo. And then between 87 and 92, in 1987, the Team Schnitzner variation was released. And then this one came along in 1987. Between 1992 and 2018, all three variations reissue rotation uh, throughout the course of the last 20 years. And the last one that got reissued was in 2018, and it was the M635 CSI variation, which was the last one to get reissued. So with that, let's check it out. And now getting started with the body. As you can see, it is a multi-piece body. And getting started with the chassis parts tree, which has the chassis, the hood, and front bumper. So you have the hood, uh, looks like a battery with open vents. And then the front bumper. There's a tree which has a little bit of everything on it. There you have the underside of the hood, uh, spoiler, rear, part of the rear interior shelf piece, the trunk lid, not the deck lid. And moving right along to the next parts tree, which has some, this one has interior bits, the seats, suspension parts, and you can see they're bolted in gray. And moving on to the next parts tree, which has a little bit of everything, more interior pieces, engine pieces, a lot of pieces here. Start up top and look at the interior door frames. Spare tires done in plastic, it's okay, I guess. dash and you have the 
had my pieces. And moving right along to the next set of parts, trees. These, these are still molded in gray. More parts, a little bit of everything parts here. These here are going to be the hubs with the with the with the hubs. Now the engine block parts tree. And then some more engine parts and interior parts and radiator parts and transmission parts. Now we're going to turn our attention to the chrome parts tree. Which has a mostly, looks like, and you have some engine pipe pieces there, I believe for like the. Uh, Engine piping, you have exhaust, door handles, kidney grills, chrome cream for the kidney grills, other chrome pieces. Now we're going to take a look at the clear parts tree. See, there's the one piece window unit. There's part of the uh, display stand. Same goes for this one. You have your headlight or your tail lights, corner lights. You have and then headlight lenses, and then the rest of this is for the, the display stand. And moving right along now to the tire and wheel baggie. You can see there's other things in it. First, a set of foam cutouts for underneath the hood. I believe is where this goes. And then four sets of, and then of course the wheels and tires, which you can see the wheel are opened up for the lugs to go through. There is sidewall riding on them. They are Pirellis. Now we're going to take a look at the decal sheet, which is still actually in pretty good shape for being as old as it is. We're going to keep it sealed up in the bag and keep it preserved. You can see a choices of gauges and body decals. And those are for the those big pieces are for the, the uh, display that you can put next to it to the completed model. So that, my friends, is going to do it for this look at the BMW Hartridge H6S kit from Fujimi, the enthusiastic series of kits. I would hazard a guess and say yes that if you want to get yourself some BMW color matched paint, you know where to go. Scale finishes, Jameson. Jameson can probably get you some mixed up if that's how you wish to roll with this one. So on that note, thanks for watching.